it's kitty cat today i decided i'm going to do something a little bit different sorry i saw something out the corner of my eye um i i'm going to be doing a book review now the book that i have here it's not very widely known it's just kind of starting out so it's also not very widely known because the person who wrote it is a first time author and she actually published her own book. So yeah, I actually found it very interesting. Um it's The Race for Dropner, the Devil Child series. And it's by Marla Bean. And quite frankly, she made a very unique story. I enjoyed that it was a fantasy and it had its own uniqueness because it wasn't let's follow you along with an entire chunk of a story. Like in Harry Potter, most of it was focused on four or five people. Yeah, it should be five. Wait. Right. Dumbledore, Hagrid, Ron, Hermione, and Harry. But it mainly focuses on Ron, Hermione, and Harry. Because you follow them everywhere with them being mischievous people. <laughs> and all that. But, um... It says... Sarah, Reese, and Ang and Aaron could not be more different from each other. Sarah is the embodiment of Daddy's girl, helping her widower father and living a quiet life with one anomaly. Reese has raised herself under the not so watchful eye of her alcoholic mother in a small town that would rather turn a blind eye to her. Aaron is a small town boy who has returned from the military in an effort to help his family and more importantly help heal himself. The three of them realize they are needed to save their friends and ultimately their town, but they will have to join together to do it. Joining forces, they stand to fight against Reginald Cummings and his corporation of good intentions, which will tell which will tear everything apart. And his power play. Can they stand and fight such a mighty foe? They will try. So, I, I have to admit, the back didn't make it. Ah, yes. Interesting. But one thing that I also enjoyed. They gave no craps about um, cuss words, which, if you're one of those people, I'm sorry if you can't read this, it's like really fucking blurry. There's most people that are just there like, oh my god, there's a cuss word in a book, let's flip out and have it, um. Uh, Blocked or just taken down because douchebagness. What is in this book? Okay. So, most people will read the first page for an interesting thing beforehand. Backflash, May 3rd, 1997. Boom! Aaron, boom! Aaron Michael! Boom! Aaron Michael Dibble, get your ass in this house right now. Boom! Okay, I'm coming! That was the last one anyway. Grumbles Aaron, but look, but look, all the tree stumps are out of the ground. Dad just needs to haul them away. Aaron, I understand you want to help out and make things a bit easier around here. Grabbing his shoulders, his mom continued, but the, 
but the quick way is seldom the right way. And I believe Dad told you not to make any more of those bombs. Looking Aaron in the eye was a bit of a problem nowadays. His eyes go grow spur from about 5 feet 7 inches, a full 6 inches taller than his mom. You're just 13, honey. What if you blow something off, like a hand or a foot? Or if you were hurt? Or if you were to hurt someone else? Think about that. Mom, I'm always careful, and Dad said not to make any more. That was the last ones I had. Mumbling his excuse, Aaron pulled it from his mother's hands and turned to the fridge. What's for dinner? Liver and onions. Can't you make s again? Can't you make something else? So I thought I think that some of y'all out there will enjoy it because um Sarah is a lot more unique than most girls. She's able to physically see fairies. At least that should be new, yeah. So Sarah is physically able to see fairies. And Reese Reese is able to see auras. And so far, the only thing that I've been able to find out about Aaron that's pretty cool is he has a dragon. So yeah, that's my thing. So I hope that y'all will check out this book. I found it really interesting. I think some of y'all will actually really like this. But that's just my opinion. You can take it however you want. It's a fantasy and it's just really, I don't know. In my opinion, it's just really, really interesting and I think y'all should check it out. So, if you like this video, slap the hell out of that like button. If you're already subscribed but you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button. And I will see all y'all kittens in my next video. Adios!